Hello there YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Um, I did, I, I did Inktober, well this one. I haven't been keeping up that much because, uh, like I'm a, like I said, I'm a teacher's aide and I do stuff in the classroom. Not only that, I do stuff at home. This one's a traditional to digital because I drew it in ink and, um, I didn't feel like using actual watercolor and I was in the class and there was a little bit of a break, so... I took it upon myself to say, you know what? Why not? Go ahead and paint something. Um, this video is not gonna be too long. Hopefully, five, six, seven minutes. It's not. It's not too bad. Um, I started this piece off with the watercolor brushes, the watercolor brush that I normally use to do all of my portraits and stuff. But I, I changed my mind at some point in here and go straight to like hard lines and stuff like that. And when I was doing this, I had to like kind of etch out the pencil lines because. They were made, they were distorting things, and uh, yeah, they had to go. Yeah, these these things gotta go. And, you know, like I said, it's from traditional to digital, and this isn't Photoshop. There's no tool to pick out what is um, in the picture, what is it. So I had to go in there and use the eye drop tool to pick up the right color and cover them up. Um, a quick tip: the best, the only way for real to to color a traditional sketch and put it in digital is if you take the sketch and you put it on a multiplier layer and it'll let the colors behind it come through but yeah um if you go on my instagram page you can see the original drawing itself but i'm not going to take that to be something that's too serious or too necessary because it's altered um up here but if you want to it's in the description box down below um there's not a lot i can say in this video um, I haven't been keeping up with Inktober, only because, like I said, I got a lot of stuff going on, so I've been doing it on and off. I'm probably not even going to do that big watercolor speed paint that I was thinking about doing at the very end of the month, like, um, because it's now I've decided to do Instagram Live every Friday for about an hour or two. You know, tonight, when I'm recording this, I did it for an hour, and some people came, not a lot. But that's not uncommon because most of the time you're doing um, a live stream on Instagram, people don't come, which is not the big problem for me. I just want to see if I was able to do it without getting like way too nervous. And I and I've kind of found a setup. I found a good setup to do YouTube videos with. I can record it with my phone and my drawings and stuff traditionally. So I don't know. I kind of want to start that up. Hopefully it'll turn out good. I don't know if I'll follow through with that because uh, traditional art on that can take a long time to draw. With the computer it goes everywhere with me, everywhere with me and the drawing software and recording software is kind of built in so it's not that big of a deal. Um, as you see there I'm working on the sky you see a little chick dude is hanging on and stuff and whatnot because he got a, his egg really well I guess. I don't know. I wanted to put a story behind it, like once upon a time there was a chick with legs and the wings were actually arms, basically breadwinners, and um, that's not what happened here. I took the sketch, I took the inking, and I went over it, but like I said, I abandoned the watercolor brush because honestly, it wasn't giving the effect I wanted it to, and like with real watercolors, when you go over one layer, you go over another layer. One's darker than the other. You got to light pictures and that kind of stuff. And I just couldn't at the time when I was drawing this. But, yeah. um, Definitely an upload schedule has been made every Saturday. There might not be a video next week because I'm going out of town. But hopefully I finish the painting by then. I got a lot of school stuff to do way before that comes. But hopefully um, it will definitely be done. I'm not too sure. Let's hope and pray. I really like the one I'm working on right now. But, yeah. Look forward to videos in the future. But, I don't know. I got like two minutes left for recording. I don't know what else to say. You know what? I don't have much else to say. I'm kind of tired. I think I'm just going to let the video kind of finish off from here. Yeah, I'll do that. You guys have a nice day. Have a blessed day. Be safe. Um, soon to come, there'll be a tutorial for the whole program. That's kind of as far as I want to go with that statement. 
it's just re- taking a long time to record and writing up and stuff. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay up. Be blessed. Be safe. I'm going to let the speed paint, the speed drawing finish up. You only got like, I don't know, like 30, 35 seconds left or something. I don't know. I can't really see the time while I'm doing this. The narration. But, as I was about to say, stay up. Be blessed. Have a good day. Bye.